The StarCraft II single-player campaign puts you right in the middle of a war-torn universe. Using clever new gameplay mechanics, the game's storyline takes you round all sorts of battlefields. Full of hard pounding combat and impressive cinematics. With a mix of both old school units and newcomers at your side, there is a whole lot of ways to achieve victory. Wings of Liberty, the first chapter of the StarCraft II trilogy continues the story of good old Jimmy Rayner, still looking to be the people's hero after all these years. Now he's a man with nothing to lose, trying like a fool to hide from the ghosts of his past. But fate's got other plans for Rayner, and soon he finds himself heading down the road to revenge, justice, and if he's lucky, Maybe a little salvation. Rainer's HQ is the Hyperion, an aging battlecruiser he liberated during the events of the original StarCraft. After boarding this hunk of Neosteel, you'll meet Jimmy's band of rebels and be able to choose from a wide selection of missions. Now keep in mind that what you do in this campaign carries a lot of weight and can change characters and worlds alike. To get through your missions in one piece, you gotta take advantage of the Hyperion systems to spruce up your army. These systems include the option to spend some of your hard-earned credits on upgrades that'll turn your ragtag troops into a respectable fighting force. If you play your cards right, you just might get your hands on some stunning Protoss and Zerg tech capable of changing your army in ways you could never imagine. The Hyperion also gives you access to some good old-fashioned hide guns. If you shell out the credits, these battle-hardened mercenaries will join your side. StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. Lives throughout this crazy corner of the galaxy are riding on the choices you make. So pick your allies carefully. Train your troops as you see fit and fight for the future of the StarCraft universe. <laughs>